Center for Peace Victoria held their second community event offering what they call facilitated dialogues on Friday, May 17th at Mumford's Place Barbecue. These table-led dialogues offer community members a chance to discuss issues such as mental health and the stigmas that surround it. This is where it gets tricky. Everyone changes tables so you meet new people. So find a table, try and sit for someone that you don't know. Led by founder Dana Cole, table leaders trained by Center of Peace in engaging and promoting open conversations directed participants as they discussed mental health. I think one important thing that was accomplished here was just like talking about it, right? Like uh, I went to an, an event that was really cool last night um, It was hosted at the Liberty Coffee House called Breaking the Stigma where they had about six people get up and give their, their talk about their experience with mental illness or mental health. Newly elected mayor Raleigh McCoy joined members of the community and expressed that he too was concerned for those suffering mental illness. But the biggest thing that I see in the problem with mental health is the denial that it's a disease. You know, I used to use the analogy, I'm diabetic. And it'd be the same deal if I had a, a, a diabetic episode where my blood sugars got down and I collapsed and here comes the ambulance. They wouldn't put me in the ambulance, they'd throw me in cuffs and haul me to the jail. Other participants agreed that our community should lead by example and change our perspectives on those suffering from chronic mental health conditions. Victoria is a very friendly community, very, but if something happens, has happened away from face to face that is so ugly and concerning, worse than I've ever seen it in my career. How can we train law enforcement or anybody who would intercede on their behalf? How can we tell, how can we educate them to know? How to deal with these people compassionately but safely. And then what about willful misbehavior? How can law enforcement tell willful misbehavior from mental illness? I don't have an answer. I'm just throwing this out. That is the issue. Learning is the objective of these events, and most of the participants said they took something new away from their experience. I really enjoyed tonight. We had we our, our topic was mental health, and I learned a lot. There, yeah. Some people their jobs brought them here. Some people their families brought them here. My neighbor brought me here. This community of Victoria is is trying to gather together and listen and understand and share commonalities and um, perhaps shed a little light on why people are often a little bit different and see things a little different. Center for Peace founder Dana Cole has plans for future events. Well, Center for Peace Victoria, we're about bringing people together for meaningful conversations. And what I'd really like to do is to, you know, tonight was just a dialogue, trying to understand one another. But what I'd like to do is some public deliberations where we come up with some solutions uh, to wicked problems. Wicked problems are problems that are not easy to solve. They're complicated. At Center for Peace Victoria's next event in June, Participants will be discussing global warming.